Yo, it's your boy Face and I'm back here with another video. Alright, so like, yeah, I, I did two of these videos, right? First the bus one, then the Greyhound bus one, right? Y'all know how I get with these. We talking about things that I just don't like about, about these things. Because mind you, like I said, bro, COVID happened, they changed up their act, but it's it's not where it need to be at, and I have a love-hate relationship with it. So before the video starts, like I, I'll be forgetting to say this anyway, but before the video starts, Please just go ahead and like, like real quick, like the video, helps more people understand what I'm talking about and or relate to what we we talking about, or relate to what I'm talking about too. And then what's cool, you can feel me, feel me, feel me. But anyways. Purchase your tracks today. I don't know how to explain it, like, in the FTA. <sighs> you see, I, I be doing a whole lot all off camera, so. Anyways, if you don't know what the MTA is, or MTA train, yeah. MTA is basically a system of buses and trains and whatever form of transport that can hold a lot of group of people, right? We're talking about the MTA trains edition, right? The first one, which is the buses, that was the MTA buses, this one's the train. You don't know what a train is, bro? Search it up on Google. Simple as that. But yeah, basically with MTA trains, there's level, there's numbers, and there's letters of both, right? The numbers take you a certain area, the letters take you a certain area, and the numbers connect with other numbers, the letters connect with other letters. In certain big areas or hot spots like Times Square or something like that, the numbers and the areas, the numbers and the alphabet, I said the areas? The numbers and the alphabet trains come on. And what's cool, you could transfer there, but usually, you would have to take a bus to a train or walk to a train or whatever the case may be. One problem with all of it is, is that, say you're in the train station, you wait for a train, it has this little monitor that's gonna tell you how long your train is gonna be. Mind you, the train is gonna be taking its time and whatnot, only because something may stop it, something may happen, another train is in front of it, uh, something like that, right? But you're gonna be waiting for whatever time, three, five, 10, 15, whatever, it's gonna tell you. But I hate that, like, I'm cool with waiting. I got no problems with it. But then it would be, it would say that, and then after that, there's gonna be more delays. And for some reason, you gonna be wondering why, why is being delayed so much? There's multiple reasons why, but like, the train system, it's not reliable. So, say for example, you gotta go somewhere, like work or something, make sure you get there early so that, make sure you get there 20 minutes before the time you should take the actual train, if that makes sense. Make sure you get there early, so that you could be at your job early, because early is always early is always better than being late. I'm telling you this from right now. Alright, so in New York, right? On the weekends, for some reason, in these last two, three years, there's always construction being going go, there's always construction going on for some reason. Four, five. Whatever, whatever the case may be, right? The ones that I have just said, they're express trains. These express trains, so they skip local stops. They skip local stops and get you where you need to be faster overall, right? On the weekends, since everybody, everyone's having construction and whatnot, you can't get to where you need to get to at the right time. So now you gotta wait for the local trains and then the local trains gonna have the same delays that I just spoke about and now we tight. So, PSA to the MTA, please. Now, I don't know if y'all can hear me. PSA to the MTA. Fix whatever you need to fix. I don't think nothing is that destroyed. So on these, on the MTA train, right? It's New York City. You probably seen one or two videos with somebody acting crazy or acting, acting crazy. You probably seen where homeless people just being on the train whatever the case may be, that's something you always gonna see. So you can't even blame the MTA for that. Cause what's the cool thing? These people, these people think like the train station is a safe haven and they bug it out. Like, but like at the end of the day, like I can't, like I feel it though. Like if I was in that situation, I feel it. But all right, the majority of times you see it, I, it's like, if say for example, you see, you taking a train all day, like wherever you need to go, it requires two to three trains. You got at least on one of those trains, you're gonna see either a homeless person, crazy person, or something else that I, well, I'm gonna get to in a second. Most of the time, that's why we just learn to mind our business because 
what's it called? Sometimes they gonna help heckle you. Please give me some. Please give me. Uh, please give me some change. Please. I uh, know this person don't gotta eat this. My person. My. I have. I have a child. They not eating. I have a dog. This, that, and third. Nine times out of ten, if that child thing or whatever is not with them, they lying and they want to use it for something else. I know it, I've seen it, and I, I, I sometimes I'll be Mr. Nice Guy, but I can't always be Mr. Nice Guy. That thing gotta change. I talked to her about I talked about it when you're at the station and you're waiting for the train. Now when you on the train, the delays is sick. Mind you, being delayed on an actual train, if you if you're not sitting down, the place is hot and it's crowded, you in a bad time, especially if the wait time is mad long. One time I was on the train for 30 minutes standing, bro. Summer. It was a few summers ago, way before COVID was even thought of, any of that. You hold the railing, your, your armpit gets sweaty. If you're not wearing a black t-shirt or whatever, or you wearing something gray, it's all seeping through. Trust me, it's not a good time. You don't even want that to happen. Learn how to mind your business, just keep it pushing. You gonna see a lot of things, you gonna hear a lot of things, you gonna smell a lot of things. All that, you just gotta mind it like you don't do none of that. And you gonna feel a lot of things too. I'm just trying to let you know. Every time, like, now, what's the good? On the train, there's gonna be, like I said, there's gonna be some crazy people, there's gonna be some homeless people. Now, other times, there's gonna be somebody trying to do something for everybody on the train, like somebody trying to make money. It could be kids trying to sell candy or whatnot. It could be niggas trying to do a whole dance routine. Or it could be somebody literally just playing an instrument on the, on the what's it called? On the train, and that's fine. Some most of the time that's entertaining, bro. So always have to listen to that. Like you could, if you take five trains in a day, say going somewhere and coming back, you can hit all five of those trains can hit a routine. And I, I, after routine number two, you're gonna be tight. They would have pilfered you all your money if you were a generous person or not. And sometimes I, I'm gonna I'm be honest, it could be a good, it could be a good wholesome experience. It's cool, maybe something you've never seen before. If you're not from New York, if you're from New York, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah. And what's the call it? Sometimes the crazy nigga slash uh, homeless man and or woman or whatever in between combined with the routine, sometimes they clash. Sometimes there's a whole lot going on into the train and you don't even know what your next move has to be. That's why, like I'm gonna say, one of the grandest, best things you have to do is mind your own business. Mind the business that minds you, my guy. That's the best thing. This is usually doesn't happen too often, but it does happen when during like the school year, right? Most of the time, if you go in, like I said on the bus in front of the buses, most of the time there's gonna be like kids coming from school or going to school or whatever, and they're gonna be in their little group. Most of the time, kids they be staying in their own business. Like they mean they could be loud, they could be whatever, but they stay in their own business. But there's some kids who like as a conglomerate gonna try to do stupid kid stuff. And most of that stupid kid stuff is day room. Like, for like, what's it called? They could be like, oh, you could be not had a long day. They could be like, oh, throw something at him, at the nigga, at the nigga sleeping, to wake him up and do some day room things. That something like that could happen. And what's it called? You could be, you could be, and be the butt of a joke. Nine times out of ten, when that happens, you just gotta be able to talk, be stern, or be ready to fight. Or at least black, you gotta be able to black. Blacking is basically like, you gotta get tight. You're like, what y'all kids think y'all doing? Da, 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 da. Most of the time, once that happens, the situation done. However, there's some kids who gonna be strong and swell up their whole self. Be like, who you talking to? I got me and my guys, da, 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 da. And they gonna try to fight you. I'm not gonna lie, that's a situation I've never been in. And if you were in that situation, you better hope your brain know what to do, cause I couldn't tell you what to do. Like I, like me, if I'm in that situation, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. It's, look, this is natural selection at that point. I, I'm gonna be honest. Process of elimination, natural selection, whatever you call it. My, uh, my, uh, uh, hand sandwich, I'm telling you. All I know is, 
uh, for most of the time though, that's not gonna be a, an issue. But if it is, you just gotta understand how to be able to black, and you also have to understand the mind your own business. Now, at this point, like with this one, this one get me tight. Cause I feel like as a whole, as a whole NYPD, it should just be abandoned. Like everything that they do, abandoned, stopped, whatever the case may be. Because like, think about it like this. Everyone, if, what's it called? As a policeman, right? Everyone hops the train. And I'm talking about everyone, young, old, tall, small, fat, or flat, or whatever, they all do it. So I feel I feel like it's very day room for the policemen to come up to you, stop you, and also give you a fine. Yes, I know they probably have quotas or whatever, but that is very day room, because most of the time it's gonna be kids. Whole time when the old lady do it, y'all gonna look, at, look, look the other way. That's not even fair. And like me, I say that I'm, I have been blessed to never get a fine for doing that. Cause I'm not telling the time I'm not always doing that, but sometimes you gotta get to where you gotta get to. So yeah, police gotta stop being on, on beef. Matter of fact, allegedly, 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 if you would want to do something of that standards, I would never do it. But allegedly, what I would believe a person should do is wait until the train gets to the station, do it, then get into the train. Allegedly that works. However, allegedly if the cops is also meat riding too, they could stop the whole train and be like, hold on, you, 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 and you, come. Now y'all all ticketed. I'm telling you, a lot of this is minding your business and natural selection. So process of, process of elimination. You gotta see what you gotta do. Make sure your mind is right. Make sure your mind is smart. If you could talk your way out of a situation, you could talk. You gotta have a good mouthpiece. Good speaking voice. Make sure you're clear, direct. Know what you want. Know, know what you're trying to get. Know how to speak to certain people. And to learn how to mind your business, too. So, yeah. I hope y'all take a lot of this to heart. Because not even for me... Just take it to heart because this is going to be a lot of things that y'all going to face. There's going to be a lot of things. That if you come to New York City or you from New York City, you understood everything I just told me. You probably even have more things to tell me. So if if you understood what I said or if have a story or whatever, comment down, that down below. I want to hear it. And also, if you haven't liked it from liked the video from the start of the video, well, I, I, I kindly ask, what are you doing? Why, why, are, you, why are you doing that? Like, what's the point? Say you pause the video, right? The same clicking power that you pause the video, you could click that and like the button. But you know, it's fine. It's what it is. All I would like to say is thank you for even watching up to this point. So yeah. Anyways, subscribe if you're new and have a blessed one, y'all. Peace.